Hello Cancers! Yay Cancers! And welcome back to the channel, Lumen Moon Tarot. So guys, I am here to do your next 48, okay? Yes, this is for your next 48 Cancer, um, and I feel like, you know, Gosh, we can't. We just can't catch a break, Cancer. You, it's always about your person's energy. But you know what? In all honesty, I think that's really what you guys want to know about, Cancer. I really have the feeling that you guys got this. All right. I think you're 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 feeling very confident. You're feeling happy. You're you're starting to get out there and have new interests, and you're having fun and meeting people and. And like a world of opportunities is just like opening up for you, Cancer. So I think you guys are good. And that's probably why your person keeps coming through. Because your person is the one who's actually going through a really hard time, Cancer. <laughs> going through a really hard time. Um, but yeah, I'm going to get into the spiel and then we'll jump right into your reading. Okay, my babies. So, Cancers, this reading is for the collective, for your next 48, for the weekend energy, okay? Um, it's not going to resonate with everyone. If it doesn't resonate with you, it's okay. Don't panic. It just means I didn't pick up on your person's energy tonight, that's all. But if it does resonate with you and you like this video, please go ahead and click that like button, subscribe to the channel, and help me grow. And if you'd like to make a donation to the channel, there's a link to follow at the bottom of the description box. And this channel is for adults only. All right, Cancer. Next 48. This is pretty much all about your person. I honestly feel like Cancers, you guys are good to go right now. Um, you may be doing some purging of old past pains, but for the most part, I feel like you're doing all right. Your person, I feel like they want a new beginning and they're holding it on their shoulders like, I really want this. I think that's what your, I really want this. This is what I want. I feel like they've made a firm decision. I mean, everything about this person screams stability. And I think they're just, they're feeling very stable um, and confident in really wanting a new beginning, okay? And that means that I've, I'm really feeling like they're possibly, you know, getting to the point yeah, where they're walking away from something. Something's crumbling here. And I feel like your person knows it. It's only them being knocked out of this tower. You see that? Only them. I think your person has either already left a commitment or is about to. And, um... They're, they've already got the door open and then people come and start giving them their their uh, opinions and they're like now wait a minute I'm gonna stand up for this you know I, this thing is falling apart that's pretty much what your person I, something happens over this weekend that brings down your person's tower kaboom um, and they're defending their right to walk that's I feel like that because you know what they're very they're very sturdy in their firm decision to have a new beginning. I just feel the strength behind this, okay? I really do. Um, and this is like a really good feeling. Like, I feel like somebody's actually getting strong here. They may come in and talk to you and may want to dance around the subjects, you know, here and there. And I feel like communication's coming in at the same time, though. At the same time, I feel like you're going to be experiencing some very fast movement, either you or your person. This weekend, things are happening. They're happening. I feel like your person feels like this is a failed commitment wherever they are, and they're leaving as fast as they can. And I, I don't, I honestly, for whoever it is I'm reading for here, I really get the feeling like they've made a firm decision here. They want a, they want a new beginning. They want a new, a new beginning, and they could be very um, focused on their pentacles at this point, too, their stability, okay? Or they finally got money, and now they're deciding to blow this thing up, because for some of you, for some of you, not all of you, 
But for some of you, your person's been waiting to get money so that they can leave a commitment. You know, so either way, I really feel like they've made a firm decision. They want this new beginning. They may want to try to schmooze or dance around the subject. I feel like your person's going to be happy about this, and I feel like they're standing firm. Your person's standing firm against all the other opinions. It's going to be a big battle and a big fight here against the opinions of several people, I feel. Several people over this. Them leaving a situation, okay? But I do feel like they're heading out. They're out the door. You could be dealing with a Leo. But this person, you know, they may just want to dance around things a little bit, I feel. You may even find out about this through a message or something um, in your neighborhoods. So you might overhear somebody talking about it even. I feel like this is a performer to... Like your person, you know, they may be, oh, oops, wrong deck. They may be overly dramatic about this maybe when they come in. Or just not want to talk about everything. They may want to dance around the subject a little bit. The dancer. Okay. But yeah, they're, they're going to be defending themselves. There's going to be, I think, some kind of bickering battle, something. People are coming up against this person. And they're making a firm decision to head out this door. I think your person this weekend, their tower's coming down, they're leaving, and they're going to be watching you like a hawk. This thing actually may go down in public even, because I see this as like one of those weird cameras that like are in Walmart, you know, on the ceiling, those weird ball bubble cameras. So this may be, may be even something that's recorded, video recorded, because it could end up being a pretty big fight. Um, but yeah, I feel like this person's going to be watching you for sure. Watching you, but you know, I feel like you're walking away here. They're having faith, I think, that they can fix this. They're having faith that they can balance this out with you guys and transform the situation from being upside down on its head to transformed and high vibing high vibing is what I'm getting with the vibrations here and on his heart this person's opening up their chakras they're, they're working on their chakras right now. <sighs> Everything is coming into alignment. I said it already in the last cancer reading. I, I think, wasn't it the last cancer? You guys are aligning. This person's aligning their chakras now. Just as you're walking away. Just as you're walking away. Because they're watching you leave, and that you know, they can't take it anymore. And I'm hearing, um, head over heels, where should I go? Can't stop myself out of control. Head over heels, no time to think. Feels like the whole world's out of sync. Yeah, because it's almost like they're they're dropping one commitment for another. Uh, everything is flipping right now on your person. The whole world is out of sync. They may not even, they may be even surprised by how they feel about you because they're walking, you're walking away and they're hating it. They hate the fact that there's competition here involved as well. You know, but they, they kept you trapped to the devil. They kept you chained to a third party situation. You know, they, they've been stuck, but you have too. And I feel like you're walking away. Whether you love this person or not, they know it. That's keeping them up at night. They're completely trapped in their mind, thinking about the way they treated you and how you have every right to walk away, Cancer. But this person's head over heels out of control. Yeah. 
and they, they, they don't have any time to think and it's like the whole world is out of sync because they're completely being flipped. Yeah, they're flipping, but that's a great thing. They're finally defending themselves. They're finally, you know, reaching for a new beginning, something better and feeling stronger, I feel. They, this is still killing them though, I gotta say. They're in a lot of pain here, Cancer, a lot. But this weekend, yeah, this weekend you're going to be being watched. They're not going to be able to sleep because they know you're walking away. And uh, they're defending themselves against a tower moment wherever they are. Wherever they are, it's coming down this weekend, Cancer, uh, for a lot of you. For a lot of you. Um, all right, let's what deck do I want? I want this one. It's my trusty one. All right. So show me what's going on with Cancer's person or Cancer. What messages do you have for Cancer for the next for the next 48 hours? Weekend energy. That one's flipping upside down. Yeah, your person. Look at them. Tap, tap, tap a on that sword, Cancer. They're thinking of I need to communicate with my Cancer. This is communication. And cutting something out. This person's getting ready to communicate and possibly cut something out. If it hasn't already ended. I feel like it's all going down this weekend. I'm telling you. They're speaking their truth. They're tired. They're exhausted. They're exhausted by this third party situation. It's coming to an end. Your person's tapping that sword, thinking about what, how they're gonna do it. Basically thinking about how they're gonna do it, getting ready, you know. Studying you. I feel like they're studying you. This is a, this is a scholar card, um, perfecting some kind of details or something. This is, this is learning about someone. This is paying attention to details. This is them studying you at night, Cancer, on the computer. They're watching you. They're watching you on the computer. Oh, just like crazy. You post something and they're on there. Six seconds later, man, bing, done. They, they sit down, they shut, their whole system shuts down except for what they're watching about you on on the computer, Facebook, Twitter, whatever. Okay, wherever you are. And all they're seeing is you shining, man. And they know, too, that you really, really put in a lot of work for this. This is you, this is you growing all of your abundance. You're abundant. Everything you touch grows. You've transformed. You've be become like a, a completely different person to your person. <laughs> yeah. You're every queen in the deck. You're single and you're not speaking. Yep. You're just paying attention to your own stuff. Growing your own abundance. That's what you're paying attention to. And they see you as, as being very abundant. Okay, what can else can you show me? So this weekend they're just doing a lot of having foundations crumbling, a lot of defending themselves, and a lot of watching you. Two of Wands, deciding which path to go in. Deciding which path, really meditating on it too. Look what's above it. Yeah, because, you know, this person is in so much regret. They know they turned their back on you, Cancer. They did, and they know it was a soulmate connection. They know. This was over a third party situation, but look, it all got dumped out. It all got dumped out, and now their focus is transferred on you. I, honestly, I don't think they ever stopped focusing on you. Okay, they never stopped. But now it's getting even like more and more and more intense because no time to think feels like the whole world's out of sync but there's no more time to think about this it's like a it's like a sink or swim do or do or die kind of situation 
and this person is in the middle trying to, you know, should they come to you or not? Should they come to you or not? Should they come forward or not? They, 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 sometimes they think they can. Then other times they think they, they think that you'll reject them. Because she's a, she's a person who's not going to waste her time or play any games with anybody. They know that you're not going to play any games with them anymore. You know, the question to this person is, did I hurt them too much to be able to come forward now? That's, that's what this person is asking themselves this weekend. Did I hurt them too much to be able to come forward now when I need to come forward? Should I send them messages and call them or not? Do you see what I'm saying? Yeah. This person is suffering a huge loss and they're just thinking about you. Cancer, they're just thinking about you. What's the central focus here for this person? Probably thinking about you. <laughs> um, yeah, wanting get-togethers. They want to get together. I think this person wants to see you in person. This can stand for third-party situations, but honestly, their, their central focus now is getting to you, getting together with you. How can they get together with you? There may be some kind of celebration you could be planning. Like they could even know that there's something going on this weekend, like you're going out and they're watching to see if there's a place possibly where they could actually go to and, and find you there. Do you know what I'm saying? They're searching for anything that they can, any way, any clue, so that they can hook up with you somehow and maybe talk to you in person. I feel like this person wants a new beginning. You know, normally I would read this card as they're they're spending a lot of time at work. They are they want to work on this, okay? That kind of thing. But the way I'm seeing this card is like this. First they had two of pentacles, they were juggling. Now this person just wants that new beginning, that ace of pentacles. They just want this. Remember, right back where we started. This weekend all your person is doing all your person is doing is deciding that they want a new beginning with you and watching you to try to figure out how to reach you. Okay? I think they do want to work on it, but I'm seeing it more as they want they want a whole new fresh start. And and they I feel like they want to start it off slow. I feel like this is the pentacle they want to hand to you. You know? I think they want to get out of that crossroads energy, that that juggling kind of crap. They want to get out of that and have like a like something simple, a much simpler kind of life. You know, I think they're really tired of all this third-party crap that just ends up in dumped-out cups, lost love, and pain and heartache. You know, you could be, a, um, or you could be dealing with um, an, uh, an earth sign too. This, they may be in this feminine energy wanting to, you know, actually offer you something stable. But I could also see this as your energy too, Cancer. I feel like they want a new beginning with you. They see you as being stable. They see you as being grounded. Um, they see you as, you know, if, if look, if this person offers you one pentacle and you have one pentacle and you guys bring it together, you're equal give and take. This person knows that you will give them equal give and take. You will. They know that about you. They see you as marriage material. They see you as, as the one that they want to commit to. You, the empress that they can't stop thinking about that they want this new beginning with. 
you know that's how they see you my deck is all screwed up yeah you the empress you're on the bottom of the deck it was screwed up they screwed it up with their empress <laughs> all right cancer but this is all the things that your your person is thinking about this weekend this is too many but and back to the defensive they're gonna they're gonna speak their truth or something this weekend it's gonna bring down a tower it's going to blow the foundation, you know, for this person, but they know it. They know it, and they're going to do it because they're willing to defend it anyway. They really, really want this new beginning, I'm telling you. They feel that um, determined. They feel determined here. All right, let's get a different deck. Um, what's the possible outcome here for cancer's person? Yeah, unrequited love. They may send you messages this weekend. This person's writing a letter. Could be a text message or a letter even. Over this love that they didn't put anything into. See, the one that's wilted is the one they didn't choose. That's you, cancer. That's who they're crying over this weekend. This person wants you. They want a new beginning with you. They want equal give and take with you. And they see you as, as, this, as the one who is your commitment material, man. You're the empress. And you're abundant and stable and independent. Yeah. They're crying. They know what they lost. This, um... This is happening all in, all over the weekend. Then the next 48 hours for you, Cancer. This is how they're feeling. It's, it's really sad, but... You know, this situation's going to stay this way pretty much and, unless they speak their truth. What can you do? They're watching you. What did I say? That's the third watching you card I've gotten within 48 hours. Cancer, honestly... Other people could be watching you too. Um, there's multiple people. There's a couple different people in this picture. So either your person is around somebody this weekend and they're both watching you or you've got other people watching you as well, Cancer. I think your person knows it. That's one of the reasons why they're crying. You know, we got the um, competition card out before, I'm pretty sure. So, but I do feel like this person is watching you like a hawk this weekend. All right, yeah, because they, I, they feel trapped. They feel trapped. This is all coming to a head this weekend, Cancer. I, I'm, at least for some of you, I can feel it. They can't stand this feeling anymore. They can't. Towers coming down this weekend. New beginnings are starting this weekend, and this person's watching you. I think they, I think they, they got themselves trapped. Just by the, the decisions and the actions that they've made. But yeah, they're going to be watching you be happy this weekend, and they're going to be wanting their happiness too. Um, you may feel that this weekend, a pull towards your person, because here's the thing, Cancer, they're thinking of you so heavily this weekend um, that you are, you're not going to be able to help but, but feel that somehow, okay? Um, yeah. Give me one more card. Any advice? Do you have any advice for my Cancer babies today? Any advice for my peeps? Any advice? Yeah, look, you just keep doing what you're doing. This is your advice, Cancer. You've been working on something that's all yours, that's very abundant, or some of you are pregnant. But look at how you glow, because you've worked on yourself. You've graduated from the last cycle, putting in a ton of effort and now you're growing and you're paying attention to your stuff, not everybody else's stuff, your stuff, Cancer. You're working on your own project and you're nurturing it and you're happy and you're glowing and you're, uh, you're 
single and you're happy you're independent you're taking care of you you know that's your advice you may feel this person this person's energy around you trying to call you in okay they're trying to lure you or they may be trying to hold on to your energy you may feel kind of upside down like um, you should be happy but you're just you feel I don't know sad or depressed or claustrophobic you know something like you'll be feeling your person's energy just remember cancer to glow just know that this weekend and refocus back on you and what it is that you're working on and it'll be okay it's just that like I was just saying before your person is manifesting and I feel like they're manif they're thinking of you so strongly I can feel it they're thinking of you so intensely cancer that you're going to feel it too so just stay in your lane focus on you take care of yourself okay maybe even treat yourself to like a nice pair of earrings or something or a, you know a pin or some piece of jewelry or something like that I see you guys maybe buying something little for yourself this weekend because you're gonna feel this very tight um, not wanting to let you go kind of energy okay yeah cancers I know it was quick that's your next 48 my babies um, sorry cancer I actually wasn't done I was just about to say goodbye and then I said no wait a minute I want to take another second look at these and then my camera died and I didn't realize it <laughs> so anyway cancer I wasn't done I thought I was but I wasn't I needed to take a second look at these so listen I just wanted to add in there look at how her eyes are in this picture and very like sleepy you're gonna be very very tired this weekend cancer very very tired um, now this could be some kind of you know spell or potion but I'm not really getting that I'm getting what I'm getting is your person is thinking so hard on you cancer and and that energy is hanging on to you and it's kind of got you flipped upside down um, some of you may you know feel it's just gonna make you feel exhausted it could make you feel like I don't feel like myself today do you know what I mean that kind of thing that's your person just hanging on to your energy because they do every thought is about you okay and it's very very intense so yeah look especially if for those of you who are pregnant please get some extra bed rest bed rest this weekend as much as you can because I really feel like this is exhausting you and you cancer you're very tenacious especially if you're working on a creative project okay especially because we're very creative and and we do want perfection in our own stuff okay so you're really pushing hard over the weekend I think especially with somebody hanging on to your energy too you're gonna need a little extra rest this weekend I feel cancer just so you know you may start feeling bouts of like just pure exhaustion go ahead and sleep it's okay to let go of that tenacity for a weekend all right it's okay to do that so yeah if you feel extra tired which I really feel you will go and get some bed rest get some extra rest okay all right that was it cancer <laughs> that was it um, so anyway guys thank you for joining me I love my babies and I hope you guys all have a next um, a happy next 48 okay and um, until tomorrow cancers take care of you and peace out